first for Wearsides News, I'm Tristan Hunkin. Writer Rita Brad is holding a talk at the Sunderland Museum and Winter Gardens this afternoon to mark the 150th anniversary of one of Sunderland's most famous pieces of shipbuilding heritage. The clipper, the Adelaide, was built here on Wearside, but has since been at the centre of a wrangle about where it should stay. Rita, who's written a book about the vessel, tells Sun FM the timing is perfect with the new Sunderland will be a home port for the tall ships race in 2018. Now, it's your last chance to nominate in the Young Achievers Awards. They recognise boys and girls in our city who made a difference to the lives of others. The deadline for putting people forward is today, and you can nominate at sun-fm.com. Presentation night will be at the Stadium of Light on March the 26th. And Wearsiders made their way to the new city centre space last night to mark the start of the countdown to Christmas. Sun FM's Simon and Danny were joined by step singer Faye Toza, Balamori's PC Plum, Andrew Agnew and the Mayor to illuminate our city. The festive light switch on also marked the start of late night Christmas shopping and the free after three parking scheme. You can get the latest breaking news for Wearside on the news pages at sun-fm.com.